testing one two three what's up guys name is Jeff. so today we're making a video about money but you know I've been pondering on my YouTube channel and to be honest with you I haven't really been posting a lot which is crazy because I've finally got monetized like a year ago been super busy with real estate and opening a brokerage has just been consuming a lot of my time so I decided to make a realistic video because you know you score on YouTube and if you're like me you're always interested in money videos not to sound greedy or anything like that but you just want to figure out how to make money how to be financially free in life right I mean that's like ultimately the goal and you know honestly when you scroll around YouTube you know with the exception of Graham Stephan and meet Kevin posting all the time about how to make millions of dollars that's all you see there's never videos about like oh how do you realistically make a couple hundred grand a year which is a very very good salary uh, without being tied to a nine to five of course you know school wasn't for me I dropped out of community college which is like super embarrassing nonetheless what we're focusing on in today's video is how do you make a reasonable, easy 100 to 200K learning a skill. And I'm gonna go over six different things, actually two main topics, six or three different things in each main topic. So a total of six different things that you can do. Just as a disclaimer, I have done all six of these things. I would never make a video encouraging someone else to do something unless I have physically done it. Same goes with all my credit repair stuff. I've screwed up my credit, I've repaired it with all the techniques that I have made on this channel. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down down below I'm trying to make a little bit more better and personalized content for my audience so for all my millions of subscribers out there go ahead and drop a like in down below wherever you like it I don't even know at this point so I got my notes over here because I was trying to make a super professional video uh, oh by the way if you don't know about me or want to know about me or why I should actually tell you how to make this money it's because I have actually done it and made good money doing it so go ahead and check out this video up here I'll link it somewhere in the description and without further ado that was the last uh, interruption let's get right into the video so number one first thing we're gonna talk about which is what I am so passionate about and so I just think it's the best possible way that you can make so much money without having to go to school and get a nine to five but it's real estate and you know there's three different things that we're gonna talk about in real estate that you can do to make some really freaking good money like no joke doesn't matter what age you are how young you are you could be right out of high school at 18 and you could start making a hundred to 200 K a year the first one is to get your real estate license Pretty obvious, right? Like I was a real estate licensee for some time. I made really good money. I think my best year I made like $280,000. It was insane in commission. Uh, now I have a real estate brokerage so my orientation has shifted to teaching people how to make money now <laughs> instead of making the money. But uh, you know, those are two different career paths. So being a real estate licensee and helping sellers and helping buyers uh, buy homes and taking a commission that's pre-negotiated on the market is as simple as just finding a client. Now, there's lots of things out there that are gonna tell you, oh, how do you get business? You know, Keller Williams is gonna tell you, oh, you gotta subscribe to them, pay them, and they're gonna teach you all this learning. No, you don't have to do any of that. 99% of the stuff that I have learned to make that almost $300,000 in one year as a real estate license, keep in mind, I was only 23, it was, bef was literally all on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, so like I didn't really pay any gurus. So what I like about this career being a real estate licensee is that you can come in, literally pay $1,500 and I'll link a video right up here on how to actually do that, how to get your license and you invest $1,500 in yourself, you get a license and you have very low overhead and you can literally just market yourself, close a transaction. Heck, even if you buy your own home, you're gonna get the commission paid back to you. So it's worth it regardless. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that because I think it goes for itself to show that you can definitely make a lot of money being a real estate licensee but let's go on to the second thing in real estate wait for it wholesaling now a lot of people talk about wholesaling on uh, bigger pockets there's a bunch of different techniques and methods there's creative real estate we're not gonna go into all that in this video but if you want to learn more about it just leave it in the comment section down below wholesaling is simply finding a motivated seller in a distressed property getting them under contract for as low as you can, say the house is worth 200, you got them under contract for two, uh, for 120, and you're gonna go find an end buyer or a cash buyer to be able to pay, let's just say 150 so that you can make the 30,000 in between. Now, there are certain things, there's more to it, that was an oversimplified example of that. You have to make sure you get your paperwork straight because a lot of people think that, oh, you know, if I don't find an end buyer, I'll just void the contract. No, you have to have your stuff situated, okay? It's, it's not like a business you can just like start out of the blue. But I have done it, I've made money doing it, and 
I'll, I'll be honest with you, if you're in a really competitive market, it's a little bit hard to get started, but you can do it. The problem is with this one, just like when you're a real estate licensee, is how do you find the motivated sellers? How do you find the clients when you're a real estate licensee? And if you want more information on how to do that, leave a comment down below, because I have been through it. Trust me, I've wasted so much money on courses trying to learn how to do Google ads, Facebook ads, all this different crap, bandit signs, all this different stuff. But uh, you can make really, really good money, even just part-time wholesaling. A lot of investors start out wholesaling to gain capital so that they can actually start investing. Which leads us to our third technique is investing. Now the only downside of actually, you know, quote unquote investing is you need money to invest. So you can start out being a real estate licensee to build capital or wholesaling to build capital so that you can start investing. As a matter of fact, I just moved down here to Florida and I just bought my first flip in Florida and all the capital that I got from being a licensee and wholesaling in Virginia. That's some inspiration for you. I preach what I do. So, or I do what I preach, whatever it is, you get what I'm saying. So to recap the three things that we talked about to make money in real estate, is going to be real estate licensee, real estate wholesaling, and real estate investing. Now you can do real estate investing creatively. I'm not going to go into that video again. If you want more information about that, leave it in the comment section down below so I know to make a video about that. The second technique that you can use, and this can be part-time, full-time, actually most people start out part-time, but I recently started doing it once I moved down here to Florida, and it's investing in the stock market. Now, this doesn't mean I'm gonna be like buying ETFs or buying whatever the heck they're called. I don't even know what the heck they're called because I don't believe in long-term holdings. I, I could care less. Now, investing, just like in real estate, it, it when you say investing, there's so many different ways. So I'm gonna list out three things that I have done to make a lot of money in the stock market. The first one is gonna be scalping. Now scalping is basically for those really volatile stocks. Now if you don't know what volatile is for the basics, uh, basically it's a stock that moves extremely fast and has a lot of volume, a lot of people actively trading it. Uh, so if the stock is gonna go you know, from 1.8 to 2.8, you know, 30 minutes, then you have a basically almost a, what is that, like a 70% gain right there that you can take advantage of. And again, it's just about taking the meat of the move. So you can't time it perfectly, of course, and it's really scary and risky to hold it for the whole 70% gain. But if you can scalp just a few pennies off of that as it goes up safely and invest large amounts of money, you can make really good returns. An example was a stock that recently went up because the EV market has been on fire lately. And I'm literally looking down at my phone. This is when I got Webull. I don't really want to use Webull anymore. I think it's a really crappy app, which is really funny because like all the YouTubers promote it to get their affiliate stock. Um, anyways, that's on a different note, the Weeble app, uh, I don't remember exactly the ticker that I was trading, but I literally had like 80 grand tied up into it, $18,000, like literally just looking down at my phone in like five minutes off this stock. The truth about scalping with a lot of people that they won't tell you is that for scalping, yes, you can make a lot of money really fast, but if the stock goes down really fast, because it's extremely volatile, to put it simply, you're gonna lose your ass. So, you know, I have made a lot of money scalping and I'm still new at this learning this but I've also lost a lot of money um, so I'm still at a profit <laughs> thankfully but you know that's one technique if you can get really good at it and you don't really need a guru to, to teach you. I mean, again, all the video and learning lessons that I have personally learned through has been on YouTube. The second technique is gonna be swing trading. Now, if you're in an investor and you've heard of this before, it's basically the same thing as scalping. You're just holding it for a little bit longer term, which I guess is like the exact opposite of scalping, if you think about it. But whatever, you get the point of what I'm trying to say, swing trading. So you know a stock is gonna go up because I don't know, an earnings report came out. Came out. So you, the stock proved itself to you, it, it budges up a little, so you take position and instead of getting out really quickly you just hang on maybe overnight or maybe for a few days every aspect of the stock market market is extremely risky you can literally lose your so you got to play it safe and know what you're doing to be honest with you i'm fairly new at this entire stock market thing i might make more videos about the stock market in general but it's made me a lot of money not really knowing what i'm doing so I don't know, maybe I do know what I'm doing and I'm just being humble about it, but you can definitely start investing in the stock market uh, and making some serious returns without investing too much of your time. The final thing that we're gonna talk about with the stock market, man, I'm almost out of breath, is gonna be penny stocking. Now, penny stocks, what are they? They're basically low,
these stocks that you want to invest in because again they're extremely volatile and sometimes they have these breakouts and you can time these breakouts and uh, again take the meat of the move you don't want to sit there for days and hope that it's going to go up to 30 because these penny stocks are penny stocks for a reason they're really you want to make sure that you understand what you're doing before you get into this, but you can mess around with like a thousand or two or even a few hundred dollars on Webull or do whatever you want, open an E-Trade account. All of this stuff is completely free to learn from. And if you want to learn from me in my journey, just leave a comment down below because I'm really seriously thinking about putting out some uh, penny stocks videos. Those are six ways that you can make a crap ton of money without really investing a lot of time. In a nutshell, ugh, I keep saying that. Why do I keep saying in a nutshell? What the hell is wrong with me? Disgust myself. Okay, that's it for you guys. Uh, that's all I got. Catch you guys next time, okay?